Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Yeah, welcome back to the Tuesday evening show, at least over here in the UK. Uh, it's now four minutes after the hour of 6 p.m. And I'm looking at the kind of, how can I say, it? it's not, not major uh, change at Arsenal yet until we win some major silverware. But I'm just thinking, how would it have been, let's just say, for example, we if we had won the Premier League at least, say, twice over the last five years, how would it, the feeling have been at Arsenal? Over the last 18 years, we have not won the Premier League. And the last three years, we've, we've got a new manager in uh, Mikko Arteta. And all the stuff that's been going on, you know, the, the demise of uh, Meza Ozil, pierre Emerick Aubameyang, and just trying to chip away at the old uh, players who should not be at Arsenal. And I'm just thinking, would we have been so jubilant if we had won the Premier League last season? So um, what I'm trying to say is, is like, sometimes defeat has a major say in triumph. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Because I can see, you know, the, the, um, like I said, the celebration police are out in force. And you cannot, again, you cannot disagree with the performance so far of this Arsenal squad. But I'm just asking the question, would it have been so jubilant and, you know, euphoric if we had won the Premier League over the last, say, two seasons? Again, defeat, despair, you know, KSC, the demonstrations. And we are, are at this point where we are top of the Premier League. Again, I don't know. Defeat has its, its major merits. But we're going to get into this Tuesday evening show on the other side of this music intro. Yes, indeed. Welcome back to Canon for the, the channel. For Arsenal fans, all over this world. Tuesday evening, now five minutes after the episode, six minutes after the hour, 6 p.m. UK time. I'm not going to go on about this, what it says down here. If you want to, we would like to, but better still, I think if you are not a subscriber, you can press the like button. Think about subscribing, just press the like button, and that will might help us elevate up. Above and beyond Amazon Prime. That's why I said it. <laughs> I said Amazon Prime, but my whole class. Anyhow, um, we've got three parts of the whole of new segments. But then I spoke about some, some wonderful news yesterday. I'm going to repeat that news from um, the live show today. I'm not, sure. I'm not in the beginning, maybe in the middle, but definitely at the end. Right, so let's get into the first new segment uh, of the day. Uh, if I find them, I'm going to sort them out. Where are they? Yeah, I didn't even line it up. I'm just, just talking about defeat. Defeat has major... Oh, where are we? Sorry about this. Merits. There we go. So let me remove this. Begging your pardon. There we go. So the tail end of the, of the segment, yes, let's talk about the, ga the Gabs. The Gabrielis, the Gabriels, yeah. Well, uh, Brazil World Cup squad Gabi Martinelli and Gabriel Jesus called up to Tite's 26 man team for Qatar. Also, Gabi Martinelli has been picked for Brazil's 26 man uh, World Cup squad. Roberto Firmino is left out. Uh, Gabriel Jesus, Richarlison, and Anti are selected. Uh, Brazil uh, plays Serbia, Switzerland, and Cameroon as a five time World Cup winners begin their campaign. On November the 24th. Also forwards, uh, just for mention, uh, Martin and Jesus have been uh, selected now. Now there was there's been some news about I don't know. McGannis has a, a opportunity still to be selected. Something about a FIFA ruling. I think I need to you know investigate that a little bit more and maybe talk about that on tomorrow's show. But, but to these two Gabbies, 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 well done again. I know I spoke. Briefly about these two um, strikers, strikers, winger, striker, but I thought I want to repeat it again. So to Gabby Jesus and Gabby Martinelli, well done, well done for making it into the Brazilian uh, squad for Qatar World Cup 2020. 
Anyway, <laughs> the second news segment is in regards to um, Tommy Takihiro, Takihiro, Takihiro. Uh, Japan uh, boss at least uh, gives an uh, injury update on Takihiro Tomiyashu after naming him for World Cup squad. Yeah, man. Uh, Tomiyashu could return from injury before the World Cup break, uh, according to his international manager. Now, on Monday, yesterday, Tomiyashu became the first Arsenal player to officially be selected for Qatar 2020 uh, when he was named in Japan's 26 man squad. Based on form, the fullback uh, uh, call up was never in question. But there were concerns that he could miss due to a muscle injury sustained in the Gunners' uh, win over FC Zurich on last week, Thursday. The 24-year-old uh, was subsequently ruled out of last Sunday's uh, victory over Chelsea as well. But the World Cup call-up hinted that the injury was only short-term with the start of the tournament now just 12 days away. Now, Japan's um, national team manager, uh, excuse me for my pronunciation, but it says, I think it says the uh, Himi... Toriyashu, sorry, uh, Moriyashu, has now shed some light on uh, Tommy Ashu's current condition, hinting that the defender may even be back in action before the break. He said, I've been told that um, he can return to work before the start of the World Cup, and that he will recover without giving uh, up uh, and face it in, in good condition. So, uh, you know, again, wonderful stuff there. Tommy Ashu, well done for being selected for Japan's 26 man squad. Whilst I get my cable to plug into the computer, I completely forgot about this, people. I do apologize. Um, so, uh, you know, Tommy Ashu, kind of injury, injury laden, injury laden. Uh, he's made it for the squad anyway, um, uh, at least. Uh, what is the next news I actually want to talk about? Um, now, I'm sorry, let me just get my face back. Where am I? Here I am, here I am, here I am, there I am. Um, a little bit of was that transfer news. The transfer news, where is he? Um, uh, could be. Uh, well, uh, that Danilo, Danilo, Danilo. Also, are more likely to lure Danilo uh, to the Emirates Stadium in January after Palmeiras uh, failed to win the Copa de uh, Libertadores, according to South American uh, football expert Tim Vickery. Uh, the Gunners may have spent close to £120 million uh, during the summer transfer window, but bo boss McArteta will be handed another opportunity to freshen up his squad uh, at the turn of the year. Rickery uh, believes Arsenal stand a better chance of tempting Palmares into San Danilo during the, win the winter window, having been frustrated in the efforts to strike a deal in August. I think we featured Danilo at least five times, actually, over the course of two seasons. The journalist feels that the target's uh, current em employers could be open to holding discussions after failing to bag a place uh, in the World Cup. Vickery told her, give me sport. It is more likely because they won the Copa de uh, Libertadores, uh, South America's uh, Champions League in the, in the uh, last two years, but they went out in the semifinals this year. Um, there will be a video coming up uh, tomorrow in regards to uh, an update on Danilo and uh, Paramadish. And uh, do you think we can probably get Danilo? Do we need to buy Danilo? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. But listen out for my video uh, when I give my own opinion in regards to Danilo, and we'll see. We'll see about that. And last but not least, uh, if I find the last new segment, it's about uh, this gentleman here on the left. On the left, not the right, on the left, Markinos. Marquinhos. Uh, Arsenal legend um, Martin Keown recently likened the current gunner teenager prospect Markinos to superstar Bakaya Saka, but things haven't played out as expected well since. Uh, his strike display, uh, the kind of uh, composure and calmness his performance has lacked in the games uh, that followed, though it's undeniable that the former Sao Paulo youngster has plenty of talent to work with. With the, with, well, be, that being said, Keon may have been jumping the gun a little bit ahead of the time. Uh, weeks after his debut, Keon discussed that Marcos uh, by claiming Marcos is not playing tonight, but he played in that very first game in Europe. You remember in Europe? That's actually well. It was like Saka in that position. It's almost a copycat performance. Uh, that's what you're really looking for. Um, listen, it's, it is still early days. Uh, I know he did not play in the uh, penultimate uh, game against FC Zurich. I think that was just down to illness. I think it was illness. I think he wasn't feeling too well. But, um, yeah, 
So anyway, anyway, that, that or these have been the new segments currently run on Canafoy TV. The Gabbies, the Gabbies, well done, Gabby Martinelli and Gabby Jesus. Yeah, and as well as uh, Tommy Ashu, Takihiro Tommy Ashu, named in the respective uh, World Cup squads for Qatar 2022. Yeah. Anyhow, anyhow, I've got some other bits of pieces of new segments uh, that I need to get to. But before I get into that, I need to check our Twitter feed and see if there's been any comments uh, thus far. Uh, let's see what's what has there been? Has there been anything? Uh, okay, no, 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 no. okay, nothing, nothing related to it's been related to something else, something else. All right, I'm saying nothing. All right, uh, let's look on, let's have a look here. Okay, now the other news I spoke about yesterday. Um, a lot of the, the content creators, well, not content creators, uh, contributors in the Canafoy TV WhatsApp group was having a laugh at me over the weekend because I had said to them that I'm going to make an announcement that I'm so excited about. And they said, oh, what is it? Is Alex a secret Spurs supporter? I said, nah. Is Alex got a tattoo? No, it's not. Then what is it then? Actually, like I said yesterday, we, we're, we've just started, uh, we kicked off the voting for your favourite segment on Canal Foy TV. Uh, so it kicked off uh, yesterday. Uh, today's uh, actually Tuesday, Tuesday the 8th. But uh, Canon Foy TV, the awards. Vote for your favourite segment on Canon for the TV. Uh, it closes on Wednesday the 7th of December. So you've got a full month to vote. A full month to vote for your favourite segment. Now, these are the nominees. Let me quickly remove this so you can see everything. There you go. So these are the nominees. The Big Sunday Show, hosted by Paul. Watch Alongs, Match Day, uh, hosted by Ralph. Thursday Night Football, hosted by uh, Angela First Lady. And, of course, uh, Richard Morgan. We're going to be uh, running this vote until the 7th of December. The voting has opened, opened up yesterday. As well as uh, on uh, on Twitter, so you can check it out. I mean, Twitter. We're probably going to have to update that because it's only. I think the the longest you can run a vote is only seven days. So we'll look out for that. But go on the platform, at least on YouTube, and vote until your heart's content for your favorite or your favorite segment. Now I've been checking the voting so far, and I can't tell you who, who's who, and where's where, and how's how. All you need to do is go and vote. Look on a platform, YouTube, uh, check out the community tab, and you'll see the voting is right there. Full month work. A full month's worth, I should say, of voting. I've got to say to each and every one of, uh, you know, Paul, uh, my brother, uh, Ange, and, of course, Richard, thank you for your undivided work that you do on the channel. It makes my life a lot easier, at least. So go and vote for your favorite segment on Canon for the TV. I, I, to be honest, I'm really, really excited. Um, it'll be the first of many. And all you need to do is have your say. You're going to have your say. Vote. And if you want to leave a comment, you can leave a comment. Uh, the winner, um, they're going to get uh, Canon for TV merchandise. Maybe a little bit of Arsenal merchandise as well. But they'll get like a, I don't know, is it a goblet or something with the winner of the yeah, California TV Awards. But that will be sent out to the winners because we live in different locations. So go and vote until your heart content. Now I can go into the live chat and see who's joined us on this one. Let's see. Let's see who's joined us on this one. So we've got our moderator for this show. Sorry, people. Right over here. Oh, can we refresh this one again? There we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ashidi, uh, moderator for the even show, and uh, no, 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 what? So, what, 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 no, for what? What, what, what? Uh, yeah, that's true. I think uh, finishing fifth last season was worth having better uh, uh, momentum coming into the season, yeah. But I'm just saying, if we had won the Premier League last season, would you have seen the, the players? celebrating and being jubilant like they have been this season? I don't think so. 
I don't think so. I think having those defeats, seeing <clears throat> how we missed out fifth place last season, all that the, the, the theatre being being played out in our very in our in front of our very eyes has brought us to this point where you can see the players, they're happy. And I think Mikhail Arteta has also said that it's the best um, uh, dressing room that he's had. And well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Defeat, man, that should bring the best out of you. The defeat, fight, fight. Yeah. Oh, my sound has gone weird. Really? Okay, just bear me a second. Let me just, uh, what should I do? Just. From what I'm hearing, it sounds all right. Oh, okay. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Jesus and Martinelli need to be congratulated on their call up. Yeah, like I said, from the, the top of the show, I'm happy for the the, the, the Gabbies. Really, really happy for them. Uh, with Tommy uh, going to the World Cup, uh, if I was Arteta, I would keep him here uh, being injury prone. It'd be difficult. Because players want to play at the highest level. The highest level is playing in the World Cup, isn't it? Apparently, uh, it appears that they are closing in on the deal for Danilo. Yeah, I've, I've just said that as well. Um, I will do a video which will be coming up live tomorrow. Um, don't have enough time today to, to do any, any kind of uh, videos. And I'm cooking as well. Someone's got to do the cooking. Um, okay, let me remove this. Let's come and refresh this page here again just to see. Right. All right. Okay. I I believe uh, we've come almost to an end on this Tuesday evening show over here on Canon 4 TV. Again, I want to congratulate Gabby Martinelli, Gabby Jesus for making it in the Brazil's uh, World Cup squad. Tommy Ashu, I think you, you're you're right in the sense, Lim. You, we want or we need to protect our players, especially those who are injury prone. But you try telling Tommy Ashu that you can't he can't go to the World Cup. Thousands and thousands of footballers don't make it to the World Cup, so it'd be difficult and it'd be hard on on, uh, on Tommy to say, actually, you know what, we're going to sanction this and say you can't go to the World Cup. Got to go. He has to go. <laughs> Uh, Ty, good evening to you. Good evening, everyone. I hope you are all uh, safe and well. Uh, Arsenal uh, men are top of the league. Arsenal ladies top of the league. Arsenal on the 21s top of the league. And after Twitter voting, keep Tony Adams on top. <laughs> Gonna be much better. Oh, dear me. <laughs> I've got to say, I don't watch uh, Come, Come, what's it? Uh, Strictly Come Dancing. I haven't watched it for, I think, since. Since Bruce, since Brucey, Bruce Forsyth passed away, which was about five years ago, uh, don't watch it. Much like um, I'm a celebrity, I, I don't watch. I don't watch that anymore. I don't watch it anymore. I've got better things to do. Uh, would you break uh, uh, football fair play rules uh, to get players in January and miss out on Europe uh, to win the league of the season? Well, I don't think you can pick and choose which trophies um, you, you you can win. And would I be willing to break the fair, you know, football fair play rules? No, I wouldn't. Let's try and do everything by the book. I know Man City and all, and all the big, you know, mega bucks uh, are clubs there, and actually Liverpool as well. Apparently, they've been put up for sale. Is it a billion pounds? But I wouldn't be willing to to break the football fair play rules in favour of winning. What do you say? Of, of winning the uh, of winning the league? No, I, w I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. All right. Uh, yeah, I, th I think we're finished on this one. Let me just quickly put this back up. Brilliant. So, um, again, just a quick reminder, tomorrow, uh, make sure that you do vote for your favourite segment for the Canon 4 TV Awards, the host. 
whoever eventually wins, uh, they will they will win you know, like a coveted, I don't know, not a goblet, but something bearing the name of their segment as well as their name. They'll get a little bit of Arsenal um, stuff and definitely a lot of uh, Canon 4 TV merch. So make sure that you do vote for your favourite uh, segment on Canon 4 TV for the Canon 4 TV Awards there. I will be announcing the winner on December the 9th, which will be the Easy Talk. So I've got to make sure I've got everyone. That's Paul, Ange, First Lady, and Richard, and as well, my brother as well. I'm not sure uh, how that one's going to work out. Well, there's been one more comment here. Uh, Gab, oops, uh, Gabby um, uh, still has a chance to get into the squad. You never know. Um, yes, yeah, I, I, I just probably need to read it a little bit more, actually. If a defender has an injury, uh, what's your thoughts? I was going to talk about it, but I can't really because I didn't read the article. But I just saw the what's it the, the banner. It said that Gabby Magaliangs has an opportunity still to make it the squad um, due to uh, FIFA rules. I thought, okay, well, you know what? I might leave that for tomorrow instead. So, unfortunately, I can't respond. <clears throat> but if it is true... I would say, looking at uh, Gabby's um, uh, Magaliang's performance, does he warrant? Does he deserve to be going on the plane to the uh, World Cup? I don't think so. I don't think so. But yeah, yeah. All righty, uh, that is that, and this is this. Thank you for joining me uh, on this a Tuesday evening show over here. It is now twenty-five minutes after the hour, six p.m. A short show. Yeah, 22 minutes uh, and counting there. I will be back, though, tomorrow evening in some more live news segments. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow. Defeat. Defeat should bring the best. You know, when, when the chips are down and, like, we've gone through a tumultuous situation, it's supposed to bring the fighting spirit out of us. It's supposed to, isn't it? I don't know. Anyhow. Uh, it's over. Uh, this canon fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans, all over this world.